welcome to the AQ Mesh installation video. Over the next few minutes, I'll be talking you through what you expect to receive in the box. I'll show you a couple of methods for installing the pod on a bracket, and I'll go through starting the pod. When performing an installation, you'll need to complete a risk assessment, be familiar with working at height regulations, and make sure that you and others around you are safe at all times. Once you've received your pod, unpack the box and inside you will receive the pod itself, a user manual and a packet of fixtures and fittings. First thing to do is remove the antenna from the packaging and install it onto the pod itself. Make sure that this is finger tight using the nut at the base, then just nip it up to make sure that there's a good connection. Do not over tighten. Remove the pod from the remaining packaging. Locating the fixtures and fittings, the security bit that is required to remove the bracket from the pod itself. Again, from manufacture, this will be finger tight, but you will require additional tools during the installation. Remove the bracket for use later on, and being careful not to puncture any of the cell membranes, place the pod on a clean, flat surface. At AQ Mesh, we recommend and can supply a couple of different methods for installing a bracket onto a post. We recommend the banding method or post clips, but you can also use Jubilee clips, or should you want to, you can use secure fixings if you're mounting onto a wall. I'm now going to run through and describe how to use the banding method. We'll then move on to the post clips. I've installed a couple of additional pieces of fixing channel onto the mounting bracket, you then use post clips, which are slid on. And I would recommend temporarily installing the mounting bracket by using a cable tie. This frees up your hands, makes it easier to work at height. This can be done at street level before you climb a ladder and simply temporarily connect to the post slide up to your required height, we recommend three meters. Secure in position, that then means that your hands are free to work with the banding tool. Cut yourself the desired length of the banding material, bend over one end by two to three centimeters, at which point slide on the banding clip push into position and then slide the entire assembly through the banding clip around the post and back through the fixing assembly. That's then manipulated into place and pulled relatively hand tight. You then use the banding tool. The way this is used is the banding material is fed into the tool. and is slid down to meet the clip itself. You then rotate the handle, which tightens the band itself. And then once at the desired tension, the entire piece is rotated back on itself. Once you're happy with the installation, cut the band, which removes any excess. The 
post clip can then be secured into position and the two tabs hammered flat to make sure that it is secured and nobody can remove without a tool. From here, remove the temporary installation of the cable tie and repeat the exercise with the second band. So again, through the post clip, through the little fixing buckle, pulling finger tight, again, using the banding tool, loosen it back off from where you've used it before, slide up to meet the buckle, tighten the entire assembly until you have the relevant tension. Removing any excess if you need to, bend back on itself, cut off the excess, push into position and hammer the two tabs flat. Then your unit will be secure and you can move ahead to installation of the pod itself. The second method that we recommend and supply at AQ Mesh are the post clips. These come in three different sizes. You've got this one here I'm using is the 76 millimeter. Again, as the banding method, the easiest way to secure the unit is temporarily with a cable tie. Simply loop through the two holes, onto the post and adjust to height. Once in position, use the banding, uh, use the post clip. One end slides into the fixing channel, around the post, the bolt then secures into the other side of the fixing channel, tighten by hand, making sure it's in the desired position and then finish off with a 13 millimeter spanner. Once secure, repeat the exercise with the second post clip into the fixing channel, around, slot into the fixing channel, tighten by hand and secure with the spanner. Again, from this point, you can then move on to installing the pod. To turn on the pod, remove the screws and the base plate, like so. Locate the on off switch up here, slide it to the on position, at which point the LED sequence will start on the front of the pod. This can be observed by looking between the pod itself and the sun shield. Now the pod is turned on, replace the base plate and install all six screws. When you do this, make sure that you don't over tighten the screws as this will make them difficult to get off in the future. The pod is now ready for installation on the mounting bracket on the post. The final aspect of installation is securing the pod 
to the mounting. The unit clips into place, then is secured with the security pin underneath. Hand tightened, and then finally secured with a tool.